Hello everyone, my name is William Ray, don't care what my name is, and this is my review for the 2017 Beauty and the Beast movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I will never do that again, I apologize guys. Uh, so, this is the fifth live action movie that Disney has done that's been based on their past animated films. This one was based on the 1991 Beauty and the Beast film. So... After all the build-up, after all the hype, did this movie do as good, or maybe better, than this? A very good, very classic, probably one of the best animated films of the 90s, before they ruined it with some of the other films they did. Did they do a good job with this remake? Yes, they did a very good job with this. I was so worried. Because even though trailers do a very good job at sucking us in into thinking this is going to be great, at times they find a way to ruin it. But thankfully Disney has not done that with any of their live action movies, except for Alice Through the Looking Glass. But that, that's, that's, that's last year. For now we're going to be talking about this film. How did it do with the story, the characters, everything? Was it just as good or were there flaws with this film? that made it not as good as this. Well, I would explain the story, but I think right now everyone already knows what it is. I mean, I'm not spoiling it for everyone. I, I don't even think I know anybody who has not seen this film. I mean, they've released this so many times on Blu-ray and DVD, by now a lot of people should know about the story of this film. If you don't know what it is, I'm going to sum it up for you. We have a prince who turns into a beast. Why? Watch the movie. But anyways, he is cursed to become a beast until he can find someone to fall in love and for that person to fall in love with him back before the last petal of, a ro of the rose he has been given withers away. Otherwise, he'll be a beast forever. In comes our main character, Belle. She encounters the beast, is forced to live with him, but over time, a romance starts to brew between the two. And, well... That's what I love about this film, but I'll get to that much later. We have our main, our main villain, Gaston, who wants Belle as a, pretty much a wife, but nothing else. He just wants her as his wife because she's beautiful, and that's pretty much it. He doesn't care about anything else, just her looks. And so he'll do whatever it takes to get her, even if it means killing the beast. And But, of course, we get our happy ending because it's Disney. So, so that's pretty much summing up the, the story, at least without spoiling too much of what happens going on there. So, did they do a good job telling this story, though, in this live-action version? Yes, they did. There are some flaws, but I those are flaws that you can ignore. But I did like how they did follow this film. I'm glad they did that. And I do like how the live-action version looks. I do like how the story is told. The pacing is done well. It does keep you hooked, even though you know about this film and how it's going to go, but you still are looking forward to seeing how it goes in this live-action version. And I love the romance. The romance that is, that is built up in this film is as good as this one. Look, I hate movies where they have the two main characters or any kind of romance between any two characters happening very quickly and not build up well. No chemistry. That's why a lot of people hate the pairings for a lot of these other characters in a lot of these films. Because they don't see the chemistry between the two characters. And they just don't accept it. But for this film, I'm glad they, they did it well. And we have very good characters to back up this story. Emma Watson is Belle. Love her. I'm very happy how well she did. Her singing is a lot better than mine. Let me just tell you that. But she did a very good job playing as Belle. I think... They picked a very good actress to play her, and with our other character, the other side character, the Beast, played by Stan Stevens, he did a very good job. I love him as the Beast. Man, this, he did a very good job. Even though the Beast is all CGI, he still does a good job, and I'll get to do the CGI later on, but he does a very good job, and I'm very happy. And the chemistry, as I said, between the two is good. It's very good like this one. Maybe this is a little better, but I still like the pairing between these two. And Luke Evans as Gaston, 
I love Gaston. He is my favorite villain. No one does it better like Gaston. No one drinks beer like Gaston. No one has hairy chests like Gaston. I'm not going to show my chest. But yeah, that's I still love it. And Luke Evans as Gaston? I got to say, this was a perfect role for him. He did a very good job as as Gaston. I love him. And also, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I know some people had a problem with Jason Gad's character, LeFoe. Okay, I get it. Not everyone was happy that his character came out and said he was gay. I don't care about that. At least when I say a lot of people, I mean the Christian nuts who are hating on this. I don't care. I like this guy. LeFoe. Uh, Josh, playing as him, did a very good job. All the other characters did a very good job as well. Everyone who played the, uh, Mrs. Potts, the candlestick, the clock, every one of them, they did a very good job. I'm very happy that all of them did a good job. And let's get to the special effects. Man, they did a very good job with the special effects. The beast looks great. I mean, granted, he's not like this beast, like that one right there. Or, you know, better picture, like this one right here. But it doesn't matter. I still love how well they did. I was worried that the Beast was going to look terrible, but they didn't ruin it. I was happy for that. They did a very good job how he looked. And the other animate objects, okay, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll say it right now. I was not looking forward to seeing them when I saw them in the trailer. But after watching it in the film, love it. I love how they looked. I love how they moved. Well done. Everything else... The environment, the surrounding areas, the castle, when they're doing the little dancing, the music, it's all good. I love it. I love this film. They did a very good job following it like this. Some changes here and there, but I still love how they did it. I'm very happy they did well. Trying to make their live action movie be like these. Try to be a little different, but they did a very good job. So I will say... Beauty and the Beast, 2017, did a very good job. It is worth watching. You want to see it with your loved ones? Go right ahead. You want to go see it with your kids? They're going to love it. Go right ahead. Don't be one of those Christian nuts that's trying to forbid their kids from watching this because one of the characters is gay. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the end of the world. Who cares? It's 2017 for... Who cares? Let them go see it. It's freaking Disney. Who cares? The focus is not on the foe. It's on, on these two. On these two. Let them have their fun. So as I said, it's a great film. Go watch it, guys. It is worth watching. Man, by the end of this, Marsh is going to end up taking all my money. Stop taking my money. And I got one more film to do for next week. Power Rangers. Oh, I got to save my money for that. That's it, everybody. If you have a different opinion about this film or the 1991 version... Leave some comments below, let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button, check out my Facebook page. I'll be here next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, take care, see you all next time, and also wear green on St. Patrick's Day, otherwise you're going to get pinched. Bye!